I'm Kim Johnston, and I would like to introduce Rotary's new R1250 Leverless Tire Changer. This tire changer will accommodate tires up to 47 inches in diameter, wheels from 10 to 30 inches in diameter, and up to 19 inches wide. Now I'll show you how to do a reverse mount assembly on the R1250. So we'll put it up on the wheel lift with the shiny side down. Now we're going to want to drop our pedestal at least one position to make sure we've got enough room to pull both beads off this wheel. And I'm also going to put this rubber protection on our pedestal to protect the face of the wheel. And then I want to add this pin accessory so it's long enough to go through a lug hole. And we'll bring it up to working position. And we'll center it up and we'll lock it in place using our locking center shaft. Tighten it into position with our quick release cone. Now we can move our tool heads into position using our laser and start to break the beads. We'll go ahead and lube this up while we're rotating it, making sure to lube the bead of the tire and get a little bit of lube on the wheel as well. Now we're going to pull this one up out of the way. And we're going to get that bottom bead with our bottom bead roller already in position because of the synchronization. And break that bottom bead. Again, lubricating. Now we're lubed up. And we can bring our dismount head into position to grab that bead. Again, we can rotate the tire as we grab the bead, but we don't want to rotate the tire as we pull it up. Now I've got my bead grabbed. I'm going to bring my tire pressure monitor around here. And then I'm going to lift up. In position, now we'll peel that bead off. And again, we'll use our mount head to hold this, wheel, this tire in position in the drop center so we can get that bottom bead with our bottom bead roller. Now we'll bring our bottom bead roller up. Again, we're looking for a little daylight. We'll indent, and now we'll peel that bottom bead off. Then we'll press the bottom two buttons and return everything to home. Now we've got our new tire. So we're gonna put it up here and lube it. We're going to bring our mount head down into position. And then we're going to hold our memory button so it knows where to go on the next tire. We're going to mount this bottom bead. I'm going to bring our tire pressure monitor around to about 3 o'clock. This tire is a little bit squishier than like a low profile car tire, but we're still going to use our traction tool because it's the easiest. And then as we start to mount up over here and lose our flexibility, we'll use our assist arm. That's in the drop center now. We should be able to rotate this on. We'll get our assist arm out of the way. We'll get our mount head up out of the way. And then if the tire's tight enough that we struggle to get this out, we can bring this bead roller down and use it to take the pressure off the traction tool. Now our tire's mounted. We're gonna go ahead and unlock our center shaft, take the pressure off of it before we remove it using the quick locking feature. We'll use our wheel lift, to get tire and wheel up off of the pedestal so we can take it to our inflation location. And that's how easy it is to do a reverse mount assembly on the R1250.